Alright, what's going on YouTube? I am Dan and we are going to learn how to tie a tie today. Now I know you think this is a joke. It's not. It's a serious task and it's not easy. I just struggled a lot today and I finally figured it out on my own. Shut up. And I'm going to show you because a lot of people I noticed on YouTube could not do it in depth and slowly, for God's sakes, do it slow so everyone can understand and process it. So, let's get to this, shall we? So let me just start from phase one. Alright, first off, we have our two pieces of the tie when you wrap it around your neck as such, just let it dangle. Okay? So next, what you're going to want to do is, um, I'm going to call this big piece and little piece. I don't know the actual terms, I could care less. The point is we get the job done. Alright? So, most people would do it about halfway. I like to go a little bit more. It's just what I do. And um, so, about there, so we could say one, two, three, four. A little bit above uh, and below the fourth button. It's up to you. Do whatever the heck you want, just as long as you get it done. So first off, we're going to take the big piece and move it to the left. We're going to overlap this one. This one's going underneath. This one is going over top. All right? Watch that. See that? And the second you cross it, pinch it so that you can keep it in place. Next part. The big piece is on the left, remember? So now we're going to move it to the right, but here's what we're going to do. This is going underneath the tiny piece. Alright? So, watch. Take the big one, gently put it under, and that's stressing the motion, but that's what we're working with. It's on the right now. So then finally, we've got to go back around again. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the right piece, uh, the big piece on the right side, we're going to overlap it again over the little guy to the left. All right? So you kind of get like this little twisted knot thing. That's good. Do not hesitate. You're fine. So next, I'm going to have to zoom in for this one because this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Let me just zoom in here. Try that. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, okay. So next, we're going to go deep in here. So what you see, you see how there's all this open space? That's meant for a reason. What you're going to do is you're going to take the big piece, slide it right through here, and it's going to stick out like a tongue coming out of the mouth. Like that. Same kind of principle. So we're going to let it dangle as such. So now if you're doing what I'm doing, keep my fingers uh, pinching that little thing. See what we got there? Right there. So what we're going to do, see all that little bit right there? What we're going to do is we're going to now shove this big piece into that hole. And this is what confused me because the videos did not explain it well. So I'm going to show you. There's that hole. See that? We shove the big piece right on in there. It's like it was meant to be. So let me just get this gently so you don't rip the tie. It'll be a wild man now. And pinch it in there. Next, what we're gonna do is um we're gonna take the little piece, push it up. Oh god, push it down. Jeez, I'm sorry. Push it down. So that way this goes up and it constricts your neck to whatever you were uh, wanting. So next. All this is in the way, so what we're going to do is to cover it up so it doesn't look like such a mess is we're going to put the collar down as such. Alright. Adjust it around a little bit. And now the final thing is, Thai companies geniusly came up with this little uh, slip right here. See that? And what you're going to do is you're going to put this little tiny piece right in there. Let me show you. Right in there so that it's not dangling all over because that looks unprofessional apparently. So, there you go. Look at that. We did it. You're ready for work. 